Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to Justin's house. In this video, in this video series, we're going to cover all the features and functionality of Platform Analytics Workspace. This is a new feature in Tokyo. It is now letting you configure stuff like you see behind me. This is the new admin center homepage. We'll do a separate video on this. But what, how do you create these yourselves? How do you dashboard and report in the next experience? And it's not even limited to just that. There's a ton going on, so let's not waste any time. Let's get started. We're going to start by moving into the platform analytics workspace. You can see that there, that's going to take us to a new place. Loads up really fast. I had actually loaded it up before, so that might have helped. And the first thing that we're going to see and what this video is going to cover is asking questions about data. So this is the natural language query portion of interacting with your data inside the platform. Now, if you're observant, you may notice this icon has been present in the agent workspaces for a couple releases now. So agent workspace, HR agent workspace, a couple of them, even uh, CSM workspace. It was usually down here about there and you could jump in there and you could do some natural language querying. Well, they're bringing it front and center and you can kind of see what you're able to do by clicking on this tips to improve results. So you can see things like totals, counts, average, maximum, and minimums, stuff by day, daily, week, month, quarter, year. You can sort with your natural language. You can request certain dates last week, today, for example, the type of visualization you want to see, bar chart, pie chart, list any filtering that you want to do, and other information. Now, what this is meant to do is provide a quick and easy way. So let's just say um, in my P P PDI, my personal developer instance, I installed project and portfolio management. So maybe I want to see the number of open projects. So I just type that in and hit enter or click the ask button. And a couple of things are going to happen. And usually the first thing is ServiceNow is going to confirm that you want to talk about projects. Now it could be the traditional type of projects, it could be customer projects, or it could be some other table that has the word project in it. And so you get a chance to confirm exactly which data set it's going to pull that from. So I talked long enough for you to see the suggestions there. There is a project, there is someone who's made a BA project and a BC project. Um, I have no idea what those are, but let's just stick with the normal projects here. And now I should get a uh, KPI, so it's given me a two of number of open projects. Now we saw that there we could ask for the type of visualization. So let's just say as pie chart, hit enter, and we should see um, all that stuff. Now it didn't actually make a pie chart, that's interesting. Um, let's do projects by state as pie chart and see if that gives us what we want. Um, so it's going to load that. Look at that. We've got that there. It's going to show us the pending, work in progress, open, close, complete. And of course, like anything in ServiceNow, you can click on these and it'll let you drill into that data. Now notice that we're still in the workspace. So we didn't leave. We didn't get launched into the platform or the, the legacy platform. We're still in the next experience. I can open up a project, view the details. I can jump back to my analytics. And if you're so inclined, you can create a new inter interaction, new incident. I thought this was funny that was still there. So they're using a shell kind of for this particular workspace. So let's wrap with one more example. I also have vulnerability management. So let's look at the um, list of vulnerabilities, um, of opened vulnerabilities uh, last week vulnerabilities last week and see what that does. Now, again, I'm probably going to get a table confirmation here if it's consistent with the way the project stuff works. I actually didn't test this ahead of time, so uh, we'll see what actually comes up here. But the goal is to not have to know how to come in and create a report. You as a user with appropriate permissions to um, access this and see the data should be able to ask a question naturally. And you see here, I've got September 20, uh, 2021 all the way to September 9th, which is just behind my head. I'll move it there so you can see that graphic over there and it looks like what it did is it pulled an indicator for vulnerabilities it's showing me the number and it's showing me how that has varied every day so not exactly what I asked for but still pretty helpful and last one here we'll just do vulnerabilities by state as bar chart so we did a pie chart earlier with the projects by state. Let's take a look at what a bar chart looks like. It gave me a line chart, but that's okay. At least now I can see the number of vulnerabilities and how that's been changing over, over time. And actually this is cool. You can see 
uh, this is going up. This is trending in a, a increasing direction of vulnerabilities. So that's the first part of platform analytics workspace, the natural language query or the ability to come in and just ask a question about your data. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in reporting in the next experience in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.